You might remember we ploughed up some fresh grassland back in the spring. We decided we'd try to plant potatoes without any harrowing or rotivating. So we just pushed them under the upturned sod as an experiment. And they grew fine. And we earthed them up a few times over the summer. And now it's time to see what the crop looks like. First job is to clear the tops. Horse is all ready? Horse is all ready. We could nearly start with the first row if we go over it twice. Here's Bob. is anxious to get started. Bob is so excited. We are not doing We're too slow for Bob. This is our trusty potato plough. Awkward and heavy, but it does a good job. Okay, now, everybody mind themselves. Very dangerous. We put the word out for some help and, yet again, friends and even passing strangers came up trumps. Thank you all so much. And there were lots of potatoes. It was a good crop considering the weather we had this year. And of course, they were only fertilized with farmyard manure. Despite a dry spell, the ground was heavy going and the tops getting caught in the plough didn't help. But Henry and Flora did their part very well. They are great horses. Note Peter on wheelbarrow duty. We had planned to use Winnie and a cart to move them all, but the third harness didn't fit the cart, so it was a good job Peter was there. So all in all, a successful experiment. We learned we don't need to harrow for potatoes, and that the first crop on new land is likely to do very well because of all the innate fertility in the soil. And now the soil has been broken up and looks excellent. I wish we had a few thousand garlic to put in there now. Any other suggestions, anyone? Wow, what a harvest, Tim. And look at these whoppers here. Hmm? Yeah. There really are some big ones, don't they? Be a proper big potato, that would be. <laughs> it's even bigger. That's worth of potato. Time to find some pigs. <laughs> 